Hello everybody, it's Drew from Langlois Vital Nutrition Center here with you. Thank you for watching the video. I'm glad you're here. I'm actually glad I'm here too. There's a lot to teach, there's a lot to learn. Let's get into it. Today, I'm going to talk to you about caffeine. Oh, caffeine. I have a love-hate relationship with caffeine. I usually have caffeine every single day, but November for me is no caffeine November. So I've decided to cut caffeine out of my life for the entire month, and this is based off of an interview I watched with a neurologist where he said he spent three months away from caffeine, and then when he had a cup of coffee after three months without any caffeine, he said it was like enlightenment from a cup. So I'm kind of curious if I can get something like that too. So there are a number of things that I've done to make sure that I can keep my energy levels up, and to make sure that I don't get a lot of the common things we hear when somebody cuts caffeine out of their life or if they reduce their caffeine intake. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about that. So caffeine, from meh to yo, it is a neurostimulant drug. I have a love-hate relationship with it. I feel like I'm speaking badly about a loved one, but it's a drug. There's no other way to put it. The compound that is caffeine is a drug element. It's like saying tobacco is a plant, nicotine is the drug that's inside that plant. So coffee, green tea, chocolate are the food of the plant, caffeine is the drug inside of those. It is not a nutrient, so it will stimulate your nervous system, your brain, the way you control your body, but it will not support the functioning of your body. It just gives it stimulation which ultimately makes you more tired, which is where adrenal support comes into play. And this is a big deal for helping the body deal with caffeine use or if you're getting away from caffeine. My favorite thing for adrenal support when it comes to anti-caffeine is Drenamin by Standard Process. So my go-to works for most people to help with that. So if you're getting away from caffeine and you don't want the withdrawal headaches, Drenamin, it's usually a dose of between six to nine of them a day. Does the trick, keeps you from getting those caffeine withdrawal headaches. After the adrenal support, next comes heart support. Heart support. Because I want to keep my energy levels up. I want to feel really alert. I like that up feeling. And the only way I can have that up feeling is if there's lots of blood and lots of oxygen going through my, blood, my brain. <laughs> I'm afraid I need some caffeine right now. Just joking. Heart support, my favorite is Cardio Plus, my standard process, with a helper that a lot of people don't talk about. It's called Cataplex E2. Cataplex E2 is a vitamin E supplement that supports the way your body carries around oxygen in your blood. So when I want to feel alert, when I really want to focus in on something, when I want to know that my blood is carrying as much oxygen as possible, like when I'm competing in athletics, exercising, or if I go to high altitudes, I want Cataplex E2. On Cardio Plus, most people take six a day. On Cataplex E2, as little as three a day usually helps a great deal with getting improved oxygen movement in your blood and utilization. So, when it comes to caffeine, we know it's a drug. It's not a nutrient. Adrenal support and heart support are really important when you're reducing your caffeine intake. I also want to say if you're using a lot of caffeine, or if you're using caffeine every day, I would also encourage adrenal and heart support just because we know that your body's getting quite a bit of non-nutrient stimulant. Thank you for watching the video. Drop questions in the comments and have a good day.